Countess Constance Markovitch, born February the 4th, 1868, as Constance Gobooth. She left her name and rank aside for a uniform of green. And in the streets of Dublin town, she fought for freedom's dream. I fought to make my country free. I've nothing more to tell. She was a woman, a wife, a mother, who didn't agree with the way the country was ruled. So she took up a gun and armed the young and the old of the day and sent them out to kill. She made a name for herself. First woman ever elected. Maybe she wasn't setting the best example for young people, but she did when she thought it was right helping them fight for freedom. Although she gave up her glamour for a simple life, she could never truly know or understand what it felt to have almost nothing to be starving nearly all the time. She was a woman, a wife, a mother. She was very good at writing. She got interested in the war and poor people. She entered the war and started helping people with food. She made soup and brought sticks to the poor. Constance, a lovely lady, with a big and strong heart. A very talented artist lady too. She studied art in both London and Paris. In Paris is where she met her Polish husband-to-be, Count Casimir de Markovich, a widower with a son. They married in September 1901. They had one daughter, Maeve, born here in Sligo. Countess Markovich didn't like the way England ruled Ireland. She picked up a gun and started to fire. She was sentenced to death but it was changed to life's imprisonment. In the end, they let her go. Then, one sad day in July 1927, she went to rest. Among those she loved so well, the friend of the toiler, the lover of the poor, all Ireland joined in Sligo's grief for the flower of Lissadelle. 